Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sapiens. Now, today's episode is a very special episode, and the reason why is because it's episode 100. That's right. This is the 100th video that I'm releasing on YouTube. There's a few things that's happened along our journey. However, I wanted us to go back to our roots. There's a new update coming out, and I thought since I haven't played the game in like over three months, may as well cover it. So over here, you can see 0.4 progress update. So now in the game, we can do composting, mulching, stone blocks, chiseling, and bronze. So let's break it down. All right, so pretty much composting. That means that all of our soil, regardless of its rich soil, regular soil, or poor soil, all that type of choices, now all our organic matter that we have, so for example, rotten fruits and veg and that, we can actually use it as compost, and then we can use that to fertilize the lands. Now, I think there is a huge difference in the days as in rich soil might be like three to five days for it to mature, whereas regular soil might be like anywhere from like five to 10. I'm not sure the time frame, and I couldn't be bothered testing that out. All I know is rich soil is good, so I've just stuck with that. However, with this composting, we can use it as mulch, so we can replenish those lands, or even new lands, we can make it even better. However, there's a downside to this, and that is our rich soil over in time it's going to degrade so it's going to become regular soil then poor and then you know all that like that which means i'm just thinking about it right now that means the desert area we can actually make that into a fertile like place to be i'm guessing yeah that sounds pretty right Anyway, moving on, we can also do stone blocks here, which is chiseling, which is down here. So, as you can read down here, first chisels were made out of hard rock, but rock chisel can mostly be used on soft rock like sandstone and limestone. Now, we have limestone in the game. So, because we have limestone, we can obviously, this is going to work pretty well. But not to mention that you can you see here chisel granite so we're going to be getting a new rock surface or new rock type in this game and i'm guessing that's what this is in the picture here granite so that means we can do heaps of things build columns as you can see here as well as road uh, walls and flooring the second thing that i wanted to add about this update uh, as well as the hard rock and that is if we have granite, we cannot chisel granite straight away. We're gonna need to get some harder materials. And as you can see down here in the next part, we've got bronze ingots. Now, bronze is made from mining copper and tin ores, and we're gonna have that new mechanism in the game. So that means we can use them so, for example, we can combine the ores and smelt bronze in a crucible. In other words, we're going to be using our kiln. How awesome is that? So, our kiln that is kind of useless and uses so much logs. I think it's like 10, right? Uh, or branches or whatever. 10 pieces of fuel, you know. We've actually got a better use for it, which is great. So, that's pretty much what's happening in that update so far. Now, let's go into the game. Let's create a new village and let's continue from there. All right, so here we go. Let's create a world. Just random name. Insa sounds good. Randomize the seed. All right, let's hit create world. Now, I've forgotten all the controls and everything, which is kind of like a good thing, I should say, because then I'm like experiencing this game as the first experience with you guys if you haven't already seen my videos now um, let's just go to a random place uh, I, I like the water I know we haven't gotten like a water update yet so we can't do fishing or anything yet but you know what um, let's just go near the water um, I don't really like islands this seems good there's five sapiens actually you know what I'm gonna be a little bit picky I'm gonna want to get some quick learning sapiens so a few moments later okay guys so I've selected this tribe here it's in the middle of nowhere as you can see however the only reason why I selected them is because there's 10 people now um, 
let's let's get all of this and we're gonna need some crafting area storage areas I should say first of all food okay so raspberries are here so maybe we'll put some storage areas here six across seems good all right I see some small rocks let's grab those and just 10 should be enough let's grab these as well now do I see any branches I don't really oh there's something here all right so let's any branches we've got 10 people we can do this now the main goal of day one is literally just to get our like sleeping quarters made so our beds and a roof over our, our heads pretty much so now that we've got a rock here we can investigate this and when this turns we can investigate that and some branches so let's gather some pine so they've got the rocks going all there now I forget the keyboard shortcut one is to clear okay so if I just clear whoops if I could just clear all the let like all here I think I'll be able to see a lot better <laughs> Um. yeah okay that seems good okay so here we go we can investigate this all right and we're gonna need to have some crafting areas too so oh let's stop building let's remove this i think i just press b right yeah <laughs> Why can I build here? A ah, slope. Okay, no worries. What type of slope is it? Oh, it's going down. Okay, that's all right. Five's enough for now, anyway. Now, what I first loved about this game was how you can pretty much craft anything that you want. Well, not craft, more like build. <laughs> the game was so relaxing and all that. Now. The other thing that the game has, well, in the update, saying that they're going to be doing bump mapping. Now, if you don't know what bump mapping is, it's pretty much... Do you see these raspberries here? Right there? Do you see how they're like... They're bumped up and everything? Well, this game, everything is kind of like smooth and all that. Like, if we look at the ground, it's just smooth. Now, with bump mapping... It's going to have like two map textures. So pretty much you've got your normal textures, which is this. And then you're going to have like a grayscale image, just black and white. And the darker colors means the deeper it is. The lighter colors means the higher it is. And what that means is that... Ooh, break for nearly complete. What that means is, you know, you're able to like... With that overlapping, the bump map on top of the other like normal map those lighter colors just indicate oh okay we've got to raise the terrain in that area so instead of doing individual like oh fire lighting awesome instead of doing individual like polygon work and all that it's pretty much that which is pretty awesome now i might be everything i'm saying is just stuff that i've read upon so i could be entirely wrong all right let's investigate this and and what do we else oh yeah that's right we've got to build houses so you know what he seems pretty good so first of all i think it's yeah q let's build some hay beds all right he seems all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen all right so my usual 14 let's build one of these oh probably too close so maybe here or yeah let's just shove it here so at least we've got some lighting and then we've got somewhere to sleep tonight now if you look up here you can see it's nearly midday 12 o'clock so excellent rock napping now 
let's craft one of these. One of these. Oh man, I'm like so slow with the keyboard shortcuts. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, uh, we did do this. Oh, we can't investigate that. Missing knowledge. Hmm. Okay. But we can investigate digging, right? Um, we can do that here. Yep. And if we had another one, we can investigate tree felling. Alright, so we're learning how to build roofs, thatch buildings and stuff, which is awesome. And we can investigate this now. And these guys are going to get hungry soon, so maybe just two of these. So yeah, um, as I said before, you know, I, I first started creating these videos just because of um, a picture that I saw on Twitter. And, you know, it. I just want to show my love and appreciation for this game because, you know, I love strategy games and that. Like, I remember spending hours on Age of Empires, you know, creating maps and everything. You know, I think it was Age of Empires 1. Or was it Age of Empires 2? Or Age of Empires 2, because that's when you can, like, build on, like, the water and all that. You know, like, that was impressive and stuff. Like, the type of mapping you could do was quite incredible. And to have a game, but in a 3D, like, not a, a, not like the Diablo style or Age of Empires style, but having, like, a 3D map where you can actually move around and everything, is just incredible. So... Um, we're missing stones, right? So somebody's trying to build it, but we've got to find stones. Large rocks. Maybe over here. Ah, oh, here we go. Got some rocks. Okay. Any rocks? Let's just grab those. Ten. Okay. Give these guys something to do. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of kids. Which is good. All right. So, oh, I see a chicken over here. Can we investigate this? All right, before nightfall is good. Now, I don't want to overload our sapiens with too many tasks. So, right now, as I said, get this guy. Oh, look at that. He's nearly finished discovering how to build uh, thatch stuff, which means we can actually, there we go, discovered it. So now we can actually build a roof all right, over our building, uh, sorry, over our huts. Uh, I can't really see that well, so maybe I have to go like that. That looks like it's over, yeah. Let's build one there and build one there. Now, hopefully this is over it. Now, if my calculations are correct, one of these should cover seven. So usually I make two combined to make it 14, but hopefully, oh, I need to go into rolls now. I like to put the kids on these, oh, she's not a kid. I usually like to put kids on fire lighting stuff. It makes my life easier. Same with like rock napping. Okay, there we go. However, thatch building only adults can do, so all of you guys are on that. Okay, basic hunting. Get some more people on it. <laughs> there we go, just unlocked it. Alright, so what's this? We've got our chicken. Nice. Okay. So, I'm sure... Oh no. We haven't figured that out yet. Oh, maybe if I put some more on rock napping? No. Is it rock napping? I'm not sure. Anyway, what's this? Flax? Yeah, okay. So that will make our weapons. Now, I just need these guys to build. Oh, right, we're going to need branches. I just realized, how can you build without branches? All right, so nine bamboo is good. Gather the bamboo for that. And let's find something far away. Maybe this one. And then let's investigate that. Now, I know all of this isn't going to be completed today. However, that's okay. Oh, we've got pumpkins so close to us as well. Quite a lot, actually. How many pumpkins do we have in the area? 22. Okay, so our sapiens ain't gonna starve. Now, 
We can make balafons with that too. However, you know, slow my roll. Just ease into it. You know, oh, I noticed some sunflowers just over there. It's crazy with the fisheye lens. It's like right here, but like when you turn the camera, it's like so close. Like it's like I'm trying to point to it, you know? It's like right there. But then when I zoom, it's like so far away. <laughs> Okay, what's that in that corner then? Is that echinaceas? Ah, oh, no. It's marigolds. Okay. Alright. Now, even though I try to collect everything and all that, with all the, like, the medicinal flowers and everything, I still really don't use medicine that much. You know? And I, I know I should be using in that. Um, I see something here. Ah, uh, these are the echinaceas. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, now I'm just looking at the map and trying to find out where everything is. Alright, so... We've got this here. Doing thatched. And then somebody else... Oh yeah, she's coming here. So yeah, that's what they're waiting on. They're waiting on these branches. So... Luckily, these kids are bringing them out. Look at them. Bringing two at a time. This guy's only building one. Um... Okay, so I'm guessing these guys that are carrying two, they're strong, right? No? No? Okay, guess not. Okay. We need a stone knife, and we haven't done that yet. That's right here. Okay. What's taking so long? Ah, oh, that's right. He's a slow learner. Alright, so we can, we can fix this. We can make this guy stop what he's doing. And get someone else. So let's make a move to there. And then get somebody else. Oh no, assign someone else. Should have just done that. Uh, this guy seems good. Yeah. Alright. Speed that along. And to be honest, that's the only problem with slow learners. Is they just take a while. Our fire is nearly built. Which is great. There we go. Now, do we have any extra rolls? Nothing yet. Okay, so we've still got day one stuff. Now day two rolls are over here. Okay, people are just resting, taking easy. That's fine. We've still got some more food here. Ooh. Oh, it's, what's this, green stone? probably it is now who's trying to discover chopping a wood okay she is so nearly there oh a third of the way however as I said our main concern is building these two now as long as these guys are fast okay no problem with him and no problem with her so I think we're looking pretty good for day one now, obviously, we've got 10 sapiens, so, you know, everything is going to go at a faster rate. However, for one person creating this game, pretty good, you know? Now, I keep saying one person because I'm just so amazed that, you know, one person can create all of this. Anyway, so, what's happening here? Nothing much. Um, we're just waiting now. It's just a waiting game. So we're currently going through digging, um, figuring out how to do some flax twine and some tree felling. So not bad for a day. Now, since there are people doing nothing, let's gather some pumpkins. Should I just do four? Yeah, let's gather pumpkins. And we've got to make sure no one eats them. So F2, resources, um, we don't have pumpkins in here yet, so just wait till the first person touches one. Okay, there we go. Pause it so then they don't start eating them. So no eating. Okay. Let's speed time up. Now they'll bring these pumpkins back, which is great. And then I guess they can craft like balafons or there we go. Digging. Nice. Alright, let's investigate this. 
Alright, so we got... Nice. That means we can raise the terrain over here. Right? It's... 93, 93... 93. It's this one, right? 92. So, let's fill the soil. Hopefully we can do that all at once. Now, I'm guessing we need to go to the rolls tab and add someone. Get a couple of people. There we go. Nearly nightfall. Oh, perfect. We're nearly done. My main concern is making sure everyone gets to sleep undercover at night. Oh, okay. So they're learning how to cook. All right. Let's investigate another one. And you know what? We need another torch. So, in case they do something, let's investigate this. Please be fast learner. Oh, <laughs> the slow learner. Okay, let's get someone else then. Alright, because we need this ASAP. Alright, pause. You're busy. Uh, anyone resting? No. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, let's use you. Alright, let's do that. Because as I said, we need this done ASAP. Look at that. Straight away, should put one on. Nice. How- oh. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, how is she so fast? The time was on like, two times. There we go. Got some light. They can do some work. Alright. And the light reaches all the way here, which is great too. Now what's wrong? Oh, it's too dark. They can't bring him back. No worries. Um, one is completed, it looks like. So, just this guy. What's taking so long, buddy? Now, it's nearly night time. And who is the one that is... If I go to F2, Sapiens, I can see who's skilled at thatch building. Now, what does thatch building look like? Okay, so it's that one. Here. This one. Oko. Alright, so let's man- oh no. Let's change this. Okay, so from here, we'll change it to Oko. Now, where is Oko? There she is. Alright, I need you to do that. Okay, for me. And then, who's gonna do this? Phil. Um... No one else. Okay. Maybe let's... Is there another adult in here? Okay, this guy. Alright. Let's put him in digging. There we go. So he should be able to do that now. Okay. Somebody else is doing it. Flax spinning. Nice. Oko. Did you already... Oh! Look at that. She's already done it. Okay. So, you know, micromanaging our, um, our sims really do work. <laughs> I was gonna say micromanaging our sapiens really do work, but then I was like, oh no, no, they're sims. You know, I'm like, wait, they are sapiens. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty happy for day one. This is really nice. All right, and it's nearly night time, and I know that these maybe, maybe we can learn cooking. However, I know there's no way we're going to be able to learn diggy, like fill this up in time. So that's all right. There's no biggie. And somebody's resting here. And you're there. Now, tomorrow, what I want to do is all this bamboo, we're going to gather it. Now, I know we should not overload our sims with tasks and that. However, it's going to be very beneficial. And... For our area too, we're going to need to clear it. Now, that's all the tasks that I want our sapiens to do tomorrow. That, and I'll be happy. Okay, breakthrough is nearly complete. Okay, for cooking. However, if you look at the time over here, it's so close to bedtime. I wonder what's... So ah. <laughs> So you can see the fire was like going out and then he brought another piece of branch and it just lit up even brighter like that just then. How cool is that? You know what? I gotta admit for day one, this is really nice. We did quite a lot. 
Now, hopefully day two doesn't let us down. <laughs> Alright, basic cooking. Awesome. Yeah, you eat that pumpkin. Alright. Okay, so we've got pumpkin. We're going to need to investigate chickens once we learn how to butcher the carcass, which is here. Now, I remember that raw meat and cooked meat should not go together. Otherwise, stuff can happen. Oh, excellent. So now that we can do that, we can actually investigate this. Even though maximum orders have been reached, we can prioritize. So I don't care who does it, but it's a priority. And this looks like tomorrow. So now it's time for bed, and I'll see you guys in day two. Okay guys, and welcome back to day two. So, as you can see here, we're about, by Suka, we're about to learn. Uh, hopefully you guys don't speak Russian. <laughs> now, uh, hopefully, from Suka here, we're going to be learning how to, um, what is it? Learn how to butcher carcasses and that. So, this is nearly done. Now, besides that, Oka, she also raised the terrain, so that means we can, oh, there we go, butchery, that means we can also put that there. Now, once the carcass comes, we can actually investigate this, and uh, let's raise the priority to high, and somebody else is investigating this, okay, alright, so there we go, so now that that's there, let's manage a storage, and chicken meat, but only raw. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. So we need to build more storage areas. There. And then maybe over there. Actually, that way. Let's do that. Okay. So let's hit R to remove these. Okay. So that's nice. Now, we also, since we're going out this way we may as well just keep building it that way now who's gonna investigate this anyone I'm gonna get you to do that okay so as I said not much we're planning to do today we're just trying to clear all this terrain so we got all our thatched goods, so our hay, as well as all this bamboo we're trying to clear, so then we can make thatched huts and everything, so our sapiens can live somewhere besides being in this little 14-man tent. Now, we'll keep this tent for now, however, we're just going to start building around, so I think that's the way to go. Five minutes later. Okay guys, and welcome back, so we're near the end of day two, quite a lot has happened, we've learned how to cook chicken and we've also gotten bones and now we're trying to learn how to do bone crafting we did learn tree felling however we didn't actually get a log and I want to make sure our sapiens don't actually like use logs for like kindling or firewood so I'm just like chopping a tree that's close to us I don't know it's one of my like pet hates is chopping trees right near us however um, with this tree chopped over here, we're able to, let's just pause, so logs, let's get rid of this first. Now as I was saying, with all these trees chopped and everything, we're able to have a nice big clearing so we can build more houses and everything near us, but with that as well, we managed to do pl get planting, so I just told my sapiens, you know, get some because over here we've got some raspberry bushes I just told them bring them back and so we can start planting now for us to actually plant and I didn't actually take a take account of this we actually need to craft quite a lot of these all right so now we've got a spear which is great we've got a wood so we're gonna need to investigate this yeah we've already done that so Let's just craft that continuous here. Now, I think we need one more for a balafon, but it's investigating somewhere else. I don't know where that is. Where are you investigating these pumpkins? 
No clue. But apparently investigating is underway. Not sure where. But, um... Yeah, nothing else is happening here. Um, I don't know... Yeah, I just don't know where they're investigating. But, as you can see, since it's all nice and clear, we're able to see what the land, you know, could be... What we can do with it. Now, hopefully, there's not a lot of... Yeah, awesome. They brought everything back, and I think someone's coming to get this last one now, too. Alright, so... As long as they put them, like, here, to be planted, then at least, you know... If it takes them a while to craft all of this, you know what, let's do some more. Because the quicker we do this, the easier it's going to be for us. Um, yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, rolls, we need to put everyone on planting. Now, oh, now the tribe's been spotted. Alright, uh, what's that, enter? Okay, ooh, so we got some turmeric here. Now, is there two people? Alright, let's just see oh yeah someone's coming awesome now while we're here let's go to diplomacy Ugh, can't really do this right now since we're trying to get people um but maybe basic building nah i don't want to do that hey tree felling okay let's get rid of this person from tree felling and um since we've got more people, I think that's enough, yeah. Look at that, we've got four. Oh, so three people joined. Nice, okay. Whew, I was just wondering who's going to be there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty good. Now, I'm guessing we don't have all the raspberries. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We're going to have more raspberries. And that's the great thing about agriculture is... These trees will produce raspberries, we can plant more raspberries, more raspberries planted, more food that our sapiens have. Because we're kind of like low on it. I think I just saw right there. Is that a banana tree? Yes, it is. All right. Oh, and there's echinaceas and all that. So you know what? Tomorrow, let's have these guys gather these bananas. And look at that. We also have clay. So let's store these tomorrow all right so pretty much good things for day two day two we're going to be doing some agriculture work so nice now that in day two is nearly over we've got look at this 180 hay and then 101 branches which is great now these branches are going to dwindle down because of our torch and our campfire however somebody was injured while planting a raspberry are you serious how can you injure yourself it's just dirt. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway. So, we can actually start building now since it's night time. They can't really do much. So, you know what? Let's put like a... Maybe we should build like a warehouse first. You know, that will be good. So, let's do that. Let's put a wall here. Now, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I build pretty much the same thing over and over again so let's change it up a bit okay uh, it's not really gonna be changed up that much but but hey a change is a change right so here we go so now this is gonna be longer and you're probably wondering why do we need the length well I want to build some stairs I want to make a level two so the only way we can do that is if we actually build higher so um, if that's the case, I can start placing these back here. Alright, because then our saping can come all the way up the stairs. And with that said, let's put on a roof. Okay. So, oh, no, we can't put on a roof. Okay. And that's because we're going to build a level two. So, okay, we can just leave the foundation like that for now. Actually, the front can. We can actually put the front on now, so at least that's something. At least all of these stuff would be covered. Alright, there. So that looks nice. Should we put a corner piece? I don't think it really makes a difference.
Okay guys, so welcome back. So now we're starting day three. Um, now, as you can see here, we've got plans for our second level back here. And we can also extend out this way too. I never really thought of that. So we can do that too. But for now, let's just let's just try and get these guys to build as well as planting. So now We've got bananas here as well as clay, so that's what we're going to try and do. And hopefully, we can have some banana trees in our village very soon. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit, and hopefully when you guys come back, I'll have some banana trees planted. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay guys, and welcome back to day three. So as you can see, we've got our raspberry bushes planted and we're still planting our banana trees however it's near the afternoon we've had a pretty good run so there we go we've got all i think it's 14 yeah all 14 banana trees planted nice and i don't think there's any more bananas here no there's not all right so we've got some clay let's investigate that and i've just told our savings to gather these pumpkins as we need to craft some balafons all right now, they've got some food. Once those balafons are crafted, actually, you know what? Let's actually go into our planting menu. Let's actually plant our pumpkins. So let's keep them nearby so we don't have to travel too far. All right, so we've got some pumpkins here. Now, I know this is going to be way too much. Oh, I know it's going to be way too many. However,. You know what, we're trying to buy, build a dynasty here, so it's all good, all good. Now this fire is useless right now because we're not using it for anything, so we can extinguish that. However, we do need torches, so we can build a torch there and a torch here. That will be a lot more economical for us. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm not really happy with how long this is investigating for. Now, first of all, I don't even know where they're investigating. So, Clay is here. Uh, they're doing the balafons there, which is great. So, I think it's a bug. I might have to do that again. Yeah. Try that. Yeah, because there's four logs there. No one's taken anything. Alright. So, here we go. Alright, so... Oh, they were investigating it. Hmm, okay. Alright, so... This. What's happening with this? Anybody doing this? Uh, he can't... Okay. So I guess not. Okay, no worries. Day 3, however, as I said, we just wanted to plant. And we got our raspberries. We got our... Um, bananas so very happy now I just realized something there should be coconut trees here coconut trees now I know it's nighttime and I can't see anything however I'm sure I might be able to see a silhouette of a coconut tree or something um, I'm sure it's like close by however you know what there's probably no point in me like roaming around like this I think hey what's this here oh this orange trees okay so you know what I don't think our sapiens have gathered oranges before so I think we can do that tomorrow where are oh, okay so we're just there okay no worries so oranges and hopefully coconuts those two things we can do today as it's now day four. Now, since it's morning, may as well just keep looking here. I think this is Echinaceas. Perfect. All right. Uh, this looks like a tall pine. Yes, it is. Tall pine. Now, I know coconut trees has got to be near us. It's not going to be far. Wait. No. You know the worst thing? is oh 
we've got some gooseberries here, which is nice. How far away are they? Let's just gather these. Oh, that's quite a hike. Yeah, I think this is going to be like, ooh, woodworking, nice. I think this might be like in another episode. So let's just select these. Let's cancel that. Okay, as long as we know where it is, let's put up like a little um, obelisk thing. So I know for the future that our gooseberries are here. Alright, select these and stop building. Alright, so we've also got over here, we've got some wheat, which we're not too fussed about right now. We don't need to worry about that. Now, our guys are all the way here getting their oranges. Now, the moment they drop one, oh, there, they've dropped. Let's go to oranges. Do not eat that, guys. Yeah. Now, oh! Look what was right in front of us this whole time. Gooseberries. Alright, let's scatter these. Oh, sweet. They're able to bring the oranges back. Now, that's the thing. It was nighttime and it was right, right here and I couldn't even see it. So, I guess we don't need that obelisk anymore. Alright, now, okay, there we go. Gooseberries. So, let's go into that. So, G. Don't eat these. Why do I press E? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, let's speed everything up. Bring these all back. Alright. Um, now, I wonder if we can investigate. Yes, we can. Alright, so that's underway. Okay. So far, great start to this episode. Great start. Now, there's some more, let me guess, orange trees? Yeah. Pottery, nice. Oh, look at that. Always, uh, always, 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 whenever I find something, I realize it's so much closer. So look, there's oranges here, and look at all these gooseberries right here. Look, there's a lot of sunflowers too. We can get that. Oh, look at these coconut trees right here. Coconut trees, seven coconut trees. Let's gather them. Now, this is close, not too far. Yep, so let's get these coconut trees. And look at that, it's still early morning, so we're, <laughs> we're doing really well. I gotta admit that, really well for the day. Medicinal stuff, we can get that later, no rush, no rush at all. My only problem is see all these things here, the gooseberries. They spoil pretty quickly, so now need to plant them, hey? So, plant gooseberries. Should we mix them up with our raspberries or keep them separate? Probably keep them separate, eh? So, let's just put them all over here. I don't think we have that much, so that will do. Now, Coconut trees. Oh my god, they've already touched coconuts already. Um, let's pause. F2. Go to coconuts. Uh, do not eat these. And notice no, we don't have any. Uh, that's probably because they bring them back. But yeah. Um, these guys are going to eat them straight away. So let's bring them back to home. Okay, you're storing them. Oh, I'm on pause. I didn't even know that. Alright, so... Should we get sunflowers now? Maybe not. Maybe we can get them later. Yeah. And if we do need more gooseberries, at least they're here. So, our sapiens travel pretty far without having to have another storage area, which is really good. Now, what else? Okay, so we've got... Okay, so there you go. We've got three... Three different pumpkin plants that we cannot plant at all because we're missing pumpkins so what we can do is all these pumpkins here all ten of them let's gather them all right that's what we can do today another breakthrough is done okay we're planting these now our trees so we've already got trees there so why don't we just put our coconut trees here 
Now, I love uh, when we chop down coconut trees. I l Ooh, mining. Nice. All right, so that means that rock is like nearly gone. All right, first of all, our rolls tab. That's something that we could do. Mining. All right. Uh, two. Yeah, probably two people on mining. Uh, woodworking, maybe just one. Now, pottery. So we'll use a child to do that. Oh, I guess we're not going to use anyone to do that. <laughs> um, but I'm very happy with how things are working out. Uh, rock napping. Okay. All right. No worries. Now, these should be built. Oh, these should grow pretty soon. Now, whoops. Um, select all the rocks. Let's store them all. Okay. Now, our sapiens are pretty, like, backed up with orders. So, uh, after you guys get all these things, I'm not going to annoy you for a while. Oh, orange trees. So, we haven't planted orange trees as well. So, orange trees. Okay. Maybe over here. That seems good. All right. So right now I'm just trying to get our, our agriculture up, getting all our food ready, but also so we don't have to keep traveling back and forth. All right. Now, pine trees. Um, pine trees are useful for the branches, which is great. However, orange trees are more useful. And the reason for that is orange trees, they produce branches, but they produce food. Now, yes, pine trees do have two jobs as well. They produce branches and we can use the pine cones to like plant more trees, but we can also use the pine cones for, you know, like, um, like, what are these things? <laughs> um, campfires and torches as kindling, but bamboo, it's what we're just gonna plant more seeds and I'm just gonna gather more bamboo so bamboo is not that important now in the previous versions when bamboo used to drop instead of dropping two it used to drop four which was awesome unfortunately you know it's now the game is now balanced slightly <laughs> or balanced you know so we can't do that so bamboo is not really that great i think maybe bamboo does like spawn in a, at a quicker rate however i haven't been able to actually verify that so since i've got bamboo here next to this i guess we can actually do like a little test to see what you know goes faster however um all the bamboo near me is being like, ah, there we go. So we can do it here, I guess, but that's too far for me to know which tree is which. So maybe if I just do like a group select here and I get them to gather these, but then they might gather these before the pine. Um, maybe I'll just wait till it's a little bit closer and then like once these spawn back in and then I can do a little test. Alright, so that looks like the end of day four, guys. Now, quite happy with the progress. And we still have a lot of coconuts here that they're still storing, apparently. What is that in the horizon? Is that a cloud? Must be a cloud. I don't know. We'll see if it's there tomorrow. Cause that can't be a massive tree. Can I go? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to go to it. Yeah, I'm sure that's a cloud. All right. Oh no, what's wrong with our sapiens? They're hungry, eh? They're hungry. That's it, eh? All right. So they're hungry and they're wet. They're wet. It's not even raining. All right. So what can we do? Let's make these pumpkins now. I knew they were going to get hungry. All right pumpkins all right you guys can eat them and you know we've got 30 oranges just just eat them guys be happy all right let's go with those 
Alright. They're already into it. <laughs> nice. Uh, don't need them all, though. <laughs> you know, we need them. Alright, so... Um, did they put the oranges there, at least? Oh, wow. So, we've got some orange saplings already. There's some oranges there. Nice. Okay. Pretty good. Alright. Okay. Sui is no longer hungry. I'm happy. <laughs> and what about this yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. How many do we have? 12. I think that's going to be enough. How many trees did I put here? 13. Mm, yeah, it should be enough. However, if they eat some more, it's not going to be enough, but, you know, it's all good. Now, there's something else here that they're going to try and bring back. I think it's one more orange, yeah. Alright, so, now that they can eat it, that's probably going to be eaten up. Which is fine. You know, as long as these guys are happy. That's my main concern. Because happy villagers mean productive villagers. So, okay guys, I think we're going to end it there. Yeah, time's already sped up. And I'll see you guys in day five. Okay guys, and welcome back. So, besides it being New Day, I decided to get our sapiens to build the second level. And I was thinking, oh, you know what, let's build a door, let's expand outwards. And as I was doing that, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Mammoths. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I think we're still trying to get, yeah, we are. We're trying to get all these, oh, wooden buildings, nice. We're still trying to get all of these. Now, they're going to rot, as you can see down here, in a few days outside. So we're going to need to start getting more sapiens to like start bringing these over. Now, luckily for us, some people are bringing them, but they can only bring a few at a time. So it's not really the fastest way, but at least something's happening, you know. Now, uh, besides that... Um, we've got our ras uh, sorry, gooseberries, raspberries are here, we've got our coconut trees planted, there's only a couple more to plant, uh, what's that, two and then there, two more, so four more, uh, we've got all our banana trees planted, and I think all our oranges tree orange trees are planted, so we're looking really well, you know, food-wise for our sapiens, now, I want to close this off because look at these. These mammoths are heading right towards us. So, the only thing we can really do to prevent a mammoth invasion is if we actually, like, surround our village in a, in a wall. However, to do that requires quite a lot of materials and besides using a lot of materials, we're also going to need to, like, have a lot of sapiens, like, adult sapiens to do that. So, it's just not really cost-effective at the moment. And as you can see, we can't even gather bamboo. So, we might have to resort to collecting all our pine trees for our branches. Now, for our test, I'll just get rid of this one. So, at least when this comes in... We can work on it together. But, yeah, just try not to overload our sapiens. Because right now they should only be doing two things. Gathering all of these um, coconut trees here. Look at that. There's coconuts spawned back in by the time that these guys have, like, gotten all the coconuts. That's crazy. That's how good rich soil is. Now, and it was the same thing for these oranges. By the time that... That we got the last oranges. All these trees came back, like, like, with oranges and everything. So that's great. So now we've got no oranges. We've got no ra uh, gooseberries here, which is good. That means we don't need to worry about that side anytime soon. Now, what are you doing? Oh yeah, you're gathering all the branches. That's great. Now, to prevent this invasion as well. Um, we can also start, as I said, closing up our village 
but having this all inside the compound. So that means when we expand, we're building around in a huge perimeter. And look at that. There's more mammoths over here. So I don't know if um, if it's a matter of, oh, you know what? We can get rid of this obelisk as well now that we're here. So select all of these. Let's remove them. We don't need that anymore. Now, okay. So our sapiens are just sticking to this area here. That one's there. Now these mammoths. Oh, how nice is this? They're going away. Oh, how beautiful. Okay. So at least we've avoided that. However, over here, as you can see, horns, the tusks moving, I should say. They're still coming towards us. Now, um, this is all our sapiens can build from the ground floor. So there's nothing much we can do. Oh, another tribe has been spotted. Let's go to them. Okay, let's pause. Let's recruit. Anyone coming? Nice. Oh my god, you're right near the mammoths. <laughs> Alright. Which means you're right near our village. Now, is it only you or are there more people? Because I've only not got enough beds for... Yeah, one person. Okay. So we should be on 14 people now then. Yeah, 14 sapiens. We've got 14 beds. Perfect. Oh my god, you're... Oh, doing this. They look so close, but nah, they're far away. <laughs> Freaked me out for a second. Alright, so... Day 5. Total success. And we've got some chickens here. So, we can start collecting these. We can hunt them tomorrow. So, we're going to have meat. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in day 6. Okay guys and welcome back. So now it's day 7. We skipped day 6 as day 6 wasn't really eventful. Um, as we were just trying to get our things planted and collecting all our coconut trees as well as, you know, everything else. I decided to go around and look for all the medicinal herbs and plants and that. So we started planting them. So if you could see here, we've got our echinaceas, we've got our marigolds, ginger and turmeric. So they were pretty easy to find. We had our echinaceas um, just over here. Um, we had our marigolds over there. Our turmeric was right near us, which is just over here, I think. And then, um, I think that was it, right? Um, our ginger, it was knee over here. We're out. What's this? Oh, nice. A garlic. All right, let's gather that. Um, yeah, so uh, there were just, I can't really remember, but it'll probably here. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Okay. So you can see our, our ginger's just here. And I was just going to say, we just managed to find some, it was near us, somewhere over here. We found aloe vera, so aloe, and now we've got our garlic. So I think we got everything, which is pretty cool. So um, that's pretty much what happened on day six. It wasn't eventful, but um, we did manage to get a lot of things. So do we there we go so they've collected the garlic so now it's only two we have so I can plant two did they get anything else no so um, we did manage to find beetroot and wheat that was the other thing which is just down over here um, yeah so here's the wheat and then there's beetroot just over here now they're eating the beetroot so actually you know what eat the beetroot that's fine as long as you bring the seeds back I just realized hey all right, let's speed things up because yes, we can roast beetroot, but the seeds is what matters right now. All right, so they're going to bring the wheat back, which is here. And then I think this is the direction I was traveling in to find everything else. And we also got our sunflowers from just up over here. I think there was like seven and I can't even find them now. Look at that. There's wheat right here as well. So we could have just gotten from here. So I mean, I always find everything last minute. Now, um, our raspberry bushes managed to grow. Same with our banana trees. Now, that's the difference between uh, rich soil and just regular soil. When rich soil, like the plants, like complete, like as in they fully harvest, then or fully mature, I should say, then they already come with the fruit. 
So as you can see, all the bananas are on here, and then all these raspberry bushes have raspberries on them. But with the lower quality soil, they just end up like this, and then they're going to have to start growing. So yeah, got to get that rich soil in. So at least we got all this here. Now, there we go. We've got some aloe in. So let's just plant them. These rot so quick, so obviously we want to plant everything as soon as we can. And poppies. Poppies were found over here. So, and it was just by choice, uh, by luck I should say, because I was just coming back, you know, thinking, oh, okay, we've got everything. But yeah, look at that. So, I'm pretty happy with everything that we've unlocked. These are apple trees, peach trees, elderberries, tall pine, I think this is birch, aspen, willow, and I don't know what that is. Okay, so um, at least, you know, we've got everything. The only thing we're missing is elderberry, which I know is over here somewhere. It's pretty far though. Oh, here it is. Actually, that's not that far. So, whoops, 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 whoops. I don't want to clear the terrain. Uh, let's just gather the elderberries. Because look at that. Our tribe's just there. We can so do that. And I saw something on the ground here. Ooh, mud brick building. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's turmeric. Don't need to really worry about that. Um, I don't want to really worry our sapiens with harvesting things that we already have. As since we've already got it, we can always just like like reharvest and build from that, you know. So not too fussed about that. Now inside, you can see that we've got our level two built. So as soon as we can I get out? <laughs> as soon as we come in, we've got some storage areas. You know what? Um, let's just build one more here, uh, and then we can go upstairs. Now, unfortunately, we can't build a wall coming down. I could try to engineer one, like, by moving things along. However, there's no point, you know. Let them look outside. It's a massive window. And then now we can go out to here. So, to prevent our mammoths from attacking us, I'm thinking of just having everything raised and just doing everything, like, in a little compound. Now... Obviously, all our fruit, fruit and like veg and everything's out here. However, I guess we'll come to that in a little bit. Now, speaking of veg, we should have some um, seeds, beetroot seeds. Oh yeah, there we go. So there's beetroot. Uh, maybe let's just plant some here. I don't know how many we have, so I think that's going to be fine for now. And I haven't actually built any f like flask yet because we've got so much over here ah someone's pregnant okay um so yeah so i think we're looking pretty good and oh there we go so we got some gooseberries starting to come in nice and look at that our coconut trees too so you know what our sapiens they're they're completely like fully capable of lasting summer, winter, spring, autumn, all the seasons. They're going to be fine, you know. Not like winter's going to be an issue for these guys here because everything is hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, they've got food. They're not going to grow hungry. We do have some chickens in here. They're going to last a couple of years, so they're fine to have. Um, it's just so... What's this? We've got three aloe... And then one poppy. So let's just build this actually. So three aloe, one poppy. Okay, so one poppy can go here and then three aloe. All right, so. There we go. So we have our little garden type of thing here. You know what? Let's enclose it. That's gonna look nice, right? Um, a short thatched wall. Okay, so that's going to look nice. Now, it is elevated, so we're going to need to fill some soil up. Um, I wonder if one's going to do it. 
Oh, we need one in this corner too, hey. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. I think that's all we need. Oh, what's with this guy? He needs to sit down. Okay. Alright, so... Looks like it's the end of day seven. Pretty good. Oh, Lily's gonna be leaving the tribe soon. Why is that? Oh, you're hungry? I'm saying everyone has food here. And... I haven't even, like, given them anything. Um, so you know what? Let's... All the bananas. Let's gather them. Everyone, gather bananas. Alright, so... Is he gonna... Storing bananas? No. You know what? Um, resources... Bananas. Eat up, guys. Eat up. Alright, so everyone should be happy now. And you know what? Because of we have all these bananas, we can build some more trees. Okay, that's enough. So look at that. Um, we fill the terrain up. So this is three. It's still floating, but... Eh. It looks like I have to fill these then. Fill. Fill. But we need soil. So... Let's dig this, and let's dig this. Okay. Okay, guys, and that concludes another episode of Sapiens. This is episode 12 in our series so far. Also, this is episode 100 on our YouTube channel. So thanks for everyone that has been liking my videos and also leaving a message. It really does help me out as it gives me motivation to keep going. Now, the last person that left a message was eight days ago and that person's name was Elisa. Now, I'm just going to go to it quickly. So as you can see, uh, Elisa wrote, this is an amazing video. More commentary would be good though. And is this one of your multiple runs of the game? You're way more prepared than I was, especially with the Wigan Well potions and ancient magic. Now, first of all, Elisa, thank you for sending that message to me. I'm probably sure you're not going to be watching Sapiens. However, if you are, thanks for watching this video. Now, I did message her back and first of all, uh, that was my first ever playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. I've never played it before. I haven't seen any walkthroughs, any, anyone playing the game at all. Uh, it's just been everything that in that video was just pure like first-hand experience so thanks for watching that video and I'm glad you liked it now I'm creating this new uh, series at the moment which is Horizon Forbidden West now I've created episode 1 which should be launched on May 8th I believe which is a Monday and this episode is gonna be airing straight after that so you guys won't see this until episode one is already out now that would be episode 99 this is episode 100 so i did want to release this earlier however yeah just because of you know the episode order and that i wanted to release this a bit later so a laser it was eight days ago but most likely you're gonna see this message or this video in a, like what's that 14 days after now <laughs> so thanks for watching this video guys now if you guys did like these sapiens episodes and you did want me to continue it then please just leave a comment down below so i know you want to see this now i pretty much built this this level so far in ready for the next update which is version 0.4 i'm so excited to see all the new things that dave has added into the game and Thanks for everyone that has stuck with me, watched these videos, it really does mean a lot. Now as usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to all these videos and I'll see you in the next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.